Good morning guys. Today I'm going to be addressing fitness myths. So the general public uh, and just a lot of people including like people who are into fitness like myself believe a lot of fitness myths. Things that everybody might think is true but it's actually not true. So today I'm going to be debunking and discussing five different fitness myths. All right, the first and number one myth I ever hear about is lifting weights makes you bulky. This is simply not true. And it's something that a lot of females tend to believe. So if you're female, this one's for you, listen up. Lifting weights does not make you bulky. What makes you bulky is fat. So lifting weights increases lean muscle mass and muscle size, but not bulkiness. Bulkiness comes from too much fat on your body. Excess fat equals bulky. So lifting weights, like I said, it creates lean muscle mass, and this is really beneficial to your body. You can sculpt your body. Instead of getting bulky, you get to decide how you want to look. So you want curves in the right spot, you can get those muscular curves. And you're not going to get to that point where you're just super jacked. Because if you were, every skinny guy that ever has lifted would be jacked by now. That's the, use them as an example. It just doesn't happen. And if you think you're getting too bulky, you can always change it. Lifting weights is really, it's beneficial. And I think it's something that a lot of women should actually try. Because... Uh, it can increase self-confidence. You could sculpt your body, like I said. Like you want bigger, a bigger butt, lift some weights. There you go. So it, you can sculpt your body, increases conf, uh, confidence, and it's just really good for strengthening your body in all ways, protecting your body because your muscles strengthen and protect your bones. So therefore, you're not as brittle. You're more durable and healthy from lifting weights and. Uh, if you're still skeptical, just try it out. Nothing crazy is going to happen in a short amount of time. So just try it out and I bet you will love it. So first myth, lifting weights makes you bulky. Simply not true. Moving into the second myth, it is you can turn fat into muscle. This is not true. You're not actually turning fat into muscle. It's not magic. You can't just poof, my fat's into muscle. That's It's not a thing. If it was, a fat man would it look like this jacked Eddie Hall with all that fat turned into muscle just to be a huge ball of muscle and that doesn't happen so working out it helps you burn calories it increases your calorie burn and that that burns up your fat and then that gives way for your muscle to come in it's not your muscle boom when muscle comes in it's just destroying the fat it's calories burning the fat and then at the same time you happen to be building muscle so that muscle is replacing the fat it's not it's not just like turning fat into muscle. That's not possible at all. The third myth is that you shouldn't work out every day. Now this is true, that's actually not a myth in some cases, but overall it is a myth. You can work out every day. I work out every single day. I literally don't have a rest day where I don't work out. And that's just because I like it that way. But what's recommended is you don't train the same body part back to back days you need one to two days rest to help your to let your muscle heal properly so what that means is you don't train biceps on tuesday and then train biceps on wednesday again that you don't do it back to back so as long as you have a day rest in between that specific body part you're completely fine um and though you can work out every day it doesn't mean you have to it's all up to personal preference i mean if you're really sore don't do that body part after two days you could you could wait longer but personally, I just mentally need to work out and other people mentally or physically need that rest day. So uh, it's really up to you, but you can work out every day. It is a myth that says you should not work out every day. You certainly can. Now moving into myth number four, it is working out gets you abs. This is not true entirely. To get fully visible abs, you need more than just working out. So working out helps build your abs, makes them thicker and larger, but to get them visible, you need to have a low body fat percentage. So you need a caloric deficit, which I've talked about numerous times. You're bringing in less calories than you're burning, so you're burning fat, so you can get a low enough body fat percentage to make your abs visible. Now working out helps your abs be larger and more defined, like I said, um, so that makes it easier to see at higher body fat percentages but working out alone will never give you normal abs. Like uh, for example, I know a lot of people, good friends who never trained abs yet they had visible abs. 
So that means they were just in a low enough body fat percentage where they could see them. So working out alone does not give you abs. You need to be at a low enough body fat percentage. And honestly, you could go without working out abs if you're doing compound movements. So fitness myth number four, working out gets you abs. Something I just wanna add in quick to that fitness myth number four is, I always like to think about abs are built in the gym but revealed in the kitchen. So you gotta have a good diet where you're in a caloric deficit to be at a low enough body fat percentage to reveal those abs. Because otherwise working out and making huge abs, you'll never have big enough for you. You'll never be seeing them that easily because you need to be at a low body fat percentage. Fitness myth number five, and that is you can target fat burn. Unfortunately, you cannot. If it were, if you were able to do it, I would target my fat right here or my love handles. That's what everybody wants to get rid of. But you can't do it, unfortunately. It'd be pretty awesome if you could. If somebody can invent that, that'd be pretty sweet. But you can't target fat burn. It's simply impossible. I mean, I know you probably want to get your love handles away or your little belly fat away, but you can't control it. The only way to do it is to be continuing your caloric deficit where you're eating less calories than you burn so that you're burning fat and continuing to go lower and lower in your body fat percentage. It's tough, but you cannot target fat burn. All right, so that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like uh, down below as well as maybe commenting. And if you want to see more, for sure, drop a like. If you want to see more videos like this, more fitness myth videos, I have so many myths I could talk about. So I probably will make another video. But if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.